tech purchase today. And I do like my tech products, building computers, gaming, video, photos, all those things, storage. So I don't buy a lot. I did have pretty good feelings about what I buy, but this one is, I thought about this one for a long time. And, you know, it's just one of those things, oh, it's really going to be worth it. So, I got an RTX 2080 Ti from EVGA for gaming. And this thing is so expensive. It's the FTW3 version, Ultra. You know, it's one of those things, is it worth it? I went back and forth a long time on this. I know it's the price, performance, you know, it's going to be much more expensive than the performance I probably expect to get. But, you know, it's always the things that's still worth it. So, box is sealed. I expect it to wrap more, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let's see how it is. I'm putting this into a uh, 6th gen CPU Intel computer and I should, I should have room. I know I have room in the case. I'm upgrading from a 1080. So here it is, the EVGA 2080 Ti. Kind of decided to get this one instead of the Super Ones, which are cheaper, but you know, I buy it, it's gonna be expensive. I'm just gonna go all in anyway, so I'm gonna break the seal. One. Two. Okay, hopefully that didn't crash out of there. You could buy like probably like two, at least two, maybe three gaming stations for the price of this thing. Brick. It's going to take up 2.75 slots. I don't know why they say it, but basically three. It is heavy. I'm concerned about the sag. Do I need a brace? I've heard mixed things, so I've tried it to, uh, yeah, there's literally just nothing, there we go. It looks like there's very limited things in there. We've got the card. A little badge thing, sticker. A DVI to... Maybe HDMI or display port there. Hard to see. Here it is. HDMI to DVI. So, one cable. Huh. And you think there'd be just a bit more, you know? Maybe there's something hiding in here, but more cables. Instructions, you know, offers for games. I don't know. Maybe it's just all online now. Bit, uh, cool box, but underwhelming packaging, I guess. So. All right, let me get this installed. Let you know how it goes. All right, so there's power of the card, but I'm concerned that there's a red light here. And don't have any on the monitors yet. I would think this is like a power supply. Shut it off and try again. Second attempt here. I don't see any any uh, red warning signs like I got last time, so that worked. Third attempt here. I have a dual monitor set up and I may have messed it up by not plugging in one of the monitors. A non-primary, hoping that's what it is. 
don't see any particular error on the card. Except the problem is I'm not getting any on the monitors. It's all lit up. I saw the fans moving earlier. I don't think they're moving now. It's not good. All right, we're all set and installed and drivers confirmed. Windows confirms it. I mean, I had to remove every one of my cards and reorganize them. The problem was that I had my video card formerly on basically the fifth slot and I didn't have any issues with it previously for a 1080, but this one would not install. I wouldn't, the motherboard wouldn't recognize it until I put it on basically the first uh, 16 PCI slot, the second slot in my particular motherboard. So I had to redo everything, move a 10 gig network card around, move a SATA card around. So far everything seems to be working. It does sound really quiet, but I haven't played a game with it yet. So, so my issues were make sure that the power cords are plugged in fully. Uh, I was running a dual monitor. Make sure you have the primary uh, monitor cord plugged in. <laughs> That's kind of obvious. And then if that doesn't work, then shuffle your um, card around in your case if you can. Got room on the back side. It was pretty tight up front. And what I did was confirm with my, in my BIOS, there was a method to go into the, there's a GPU setting and a map that gave me some instructions on preferred spots. So here it is. Just an add on to the video in the NVIDIA box, in this little black box with the wires, the DVI to HDMI port converter. Uh, there was instructions, a little tiny instruction guide. It's it's base the basics, right? It didn't solve any of my problems, but you know it's good to be able to look at something when you uh, run into a problem. So add that on. Yes, it did include instructions on the install.